this video, I'm going to talk about a half a dozen items that I've sold over the last few weeks for less than $5 profit per item. I'm going to tell you whether or not I think each item makes sense, why I think it makes sense, or why I think it doesn't. Hey, I'm Joe, Bone the Part-Time Hustle. On this channel, we talk about saving money, making money, and growing money. And today, we're going to talk about nickels and dimes. If you're wondering what the heck, stick around. In this video, I want to talk about uh, running a business on razor-thin profit margins. Is it worth selling items on eBay for a buck? profit on each item three dollars profit five dollars where's the line on that i'm going to say it depends on a lot of different things but first let's talk about the fact that most of the retail in industry operates on a very thin profit margin if i go into walmart and i buy 150 dollars worth of toys and games for my kids or grandkids for christmas Walmart only makes a buck or two or maybe five or ten off of that purchase. The way that they make their money, though, is that hundreds of other people, thousands of other people go through that same store on that same day with a similar shopping cart. So it's all a volume game. It's a numbers game. I realize that uh, that's not necessarily doable for online resellers like myself. I am not looking to hire people. I'm not looking to rent storage space. So selling the kind of volume that it would take to make money off at three or five or 8% profit margin is not gonna work. But is it still worth it? Or is it maybe even still necessary to sell some items where you're barely making a buck? So here's a half a dozen items that I sold over the last month or so, a couple weeks, that sold for less than $5 per profit per item. The first one I want to talk about don't make sense. They were definitely mistakes. I sold a Cabela's long sleeve flannel shirt for less than a dollar profit. It should have been about a $3 profit, which in this case I believe would have made sense. It was an easy listing. I listed three items that were similar, but I made an error on the shipping. I, I included free shipping and I checked the box for expedited overnight or something like that. And, it, and I didn't realize it until I printed out the shipping label and it was like $8, $8.50. And um, in hindsight, I could have asked them if, if they needed it expedited or if they could have waited a day or two more. But uh, I felt like just honoring the original agreement that I would ship it overnight or whatever. Uh, I'd rather get the good feedback and not have to hassle with it. So I did that. So yeah, that was a mistake. I, I wouldn't purposely sell anything for less than a dollar profit. The next item I sold was also less than a dollar profit. It was a Dickies uh, long sleeve button down work shirt. It was one of the first items that I listed that I use promoted listings and I'm kind of experimenting with that to see when it makes sense and when it doesn't but the long story short on this one is I guesstimated incorrectly on the shipping cost the eBay fees you know the normal eBay fees and the um, promoted listing fees and then the promoted listing fees they tell you exactly how much it's going to cost i kind of underestimated what each of those would cost me and if you underestimate by 30 or 50 or 80 cents in three different categories you end up taking a pretty good bath on that so uh, could have should have made two or three dollars on that at least ended up making less than a buck so those are my less than a dollar an item sales and I would not purposely uh, sell things with a profit margin that thin. So the next two items I sold that I want to talk about were about $2 a piece profit. And that's kind of at the bottom of where I think it might make sense. 
Um, so I'll say I'm happy with one of the sales and a little disappointed in the other. So the first one was a sportsman's warehouse hunting slash shooting shirt. Um, a really nice shirt. I just, I didn't ask enough for it sold pretty quickly. I want to say like in two weeks, three weeks. And if you're selling items that quickly, you're probably not asking enough. That's what I'm learning so far. Uh, so I, I should have held out on that one a little bit. Yeah, I should have listed for three or four dollars more. So I'm okay with it, but uh, I really wish I would have listed it for a higher price. The other shirt that I sold at about a two dollar profit was a Roundtree York polo shirt and it was part of a five shirt package that I bought at a garage sale and when I got home I realized I hadn't screened the items well enough and none of them were really perfect so this one and I paid like eight bucks for five shirts so I was happy to have this one sold I got my money back out of it plus a couple bucks it had a stain on the front of course I disclosed that put the best pictures of it I could and um, so got rid of it didn't have to redonate it didn't have to uh, throw it away so I'm, I'm happy with that now the last two items I want to talk about I made closer to five dollars per item on these and to me that's when it's getting to make a lot more sense one of the last two items that I sold was a pair of Levi's I could buy those fairly regularly if I am looking at the right place on the right day for less than five dollars and sell them for more than 15 so that might end up being a bread and butter type of item for me if i can get familiar with levi's a little bit better which models sell quicker and for more money that, that's something i'm definitely interested in making sort of a bread and butter item for me of course i'd like to get the profit margin up to 10 or 15 dollars and uh, these sold pretty quick. I probably should list them a little higher next time. And the last item is a tie that I sold. It's got a patriotic motif on it. It's the Boston Tea Party. It's uh, I, I wore it back in the day when I wore ties. This was out of my own inventory. I didn't go buy it. Otherwise, I, I might not have made any money. But um, I, I made about three bucks on that. I was pretty happy with it. So those are six items that I've sold in the last month or two for less than $5. And like I said, some of the sales made sense to me. I would do it again and others I would not. So I'm, I'm living, I'm learning, hopefully I'm getting better at this. The bigger question isn't the uh, price or the profit margin per item. The bigger question is the profit margin as it compares to the amount of time and effort that you have into the item. If you're literally just bringing something home, taking pictures of it, and then putting it in the mail once it sells, then three to five dollars, six dollars, eight dollars, that's actually not that bad. You sell enough of that kind of stuff, it keeps your business going, keeps the inventory turning over, and I can make sense of that. But if you've got to drive a considerable distance to pick up a singular item, or if you've got to put an hour and a half into cleaning it and prepping it, or if it's awkward and a pain to package and ship, you know, all of those factors need to be considered. So it's not as easy as saying, oh, you made $3 off that, it wasn't worth it, or you made $20 off that, it was worth it. On that $20 profit item that you sold, if you've got hours into prepping and cleaning and listing and shipping, maybe that's not worth it. So, like I say, you answer this question for yourself. Uh, I can't tell you whether or not it's worth it listing an item for and making a profit of $3. Only you can make your decision on that. I will say, though, that if you're reselling, I'm new to it. And you want to get good at photographing and staging items and listing and shipping. The only way you get good at those things is by putting in the repetition. If you can turn items over quickly in the beginning, even if it's a, a very thin profit margin, and that helps you get the reps in, 
and that'll help you get better at things. And that's currently where I'm at. So I'm not kicking myself for any of these items that I sold. I'll take my lumps, I'll get my experience, I'll move on and I'll get better at this. So uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, maybe that's where you're at. All I can say is if you work hard and you work smart, success will follow. So keep hustling and we'll see you in the next video.